Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time must be a very happy Dave Hull after his side was victorious in a 4 0 win over Lancaster City. Dave, what do you reckon to the performance of your lads today? Yeah, they've done really well, mate, to be fair. Um, the first 10 minutes were a little bit shaky, but me and Sean knew that had happened. You know, we, the expectation what we put on the boys this season uh, is possibly a little bit higher than what they've been used to. Uh, no disrespect to the other clubs where they've come from. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you know I'm really pleased with the work rate, the attitude, and uh, yeah when we got it down we, we we knocked it about a bit and we looked dangerous every time we went forward. So it's good attack of football, good performance. A lot of the fans were very happy with Jamie Jackson's performance in particular. I think he's got three assists today and grabbed a goal himself. He's he's shown that turn of pace which we knew when he was first here. How vital was he to your game plan today? Yeah, we, we've always known that, that Jack has got something in his locker which which would be an asset to anybody in this league. You know, thankfully that we've uh, we got him. Obviously, last season he was there, um, and he's kicked on, and he's enjoying the style of football that we've played. But yeah, it was, it was no secret that Jacko has got the pace, finishing, and we've, we're getting the best out of Jacko, and he, he, he seems to be, be enjoying himself. So yeah, really happy for him. We saw Kieran Watson as well come off the bench and grab a goal on his league debut. To have players, I mean, Sean as well getting to today. To have players who can come in and not only are challenging that for that position but to grab themselves a goal, that must be a great headache for you to have. Yeah, it is. I mean, like I said on previous um, interviews, it's, we've, got, we've got competition throughout, the, throughout the, um, the side. So, you know, he's, we got Kieran to the club for, for one reason. That, that was his uh, goal scoring ability. Um, and through the, through the pre-season and likely today, he's, he's proved why we've got him at the club. He was, to be fair, a little bit uh, unfortunate not to be starting today. Um, but, but Jacko's been been on fire, so it was that, that was one, one of the hardest choices. Which hope I'm gonna have a, a few more to make. I've seen, well, I've heard a few fans singing top at league. That must not be something that ends to your mind at this point. <laughs> well, if you were there, well, you was there with the radio show. We should have had it wrapped up by February, haven't we? Uh, yeah, I think that's what was said. Yeah, but no, no, you know, it's, you know, it, we'll enjoy the we'll enjoy the moment today. Um, but I'm not behind the door, football. Could be turned upon it said within within a matter of days. Um, but no doubt we're gonna enjoy this because we, it was a good performance and the boys have worked hard through pre-season and it just goes to show the hard work's paid off today. So they, they know that they're not gonna get carried away. We've had a bit of a chat at full time. Um, give the praises where praises were due. Uh, ask for a little bit more for certain individuals. Told them to be a little bit honest if they could have done better, what they could have done, you know, a little bit quicker, sharper. So always testing testing the individuals and, and the team so you know hopefully there's with tongue in cheek there's a little bit more to come so the boys are the boys are buzzing so we'll enjoy enjoy themselves today and then we'll go again Tuesday. Would you say ahead of the Scarborough trip you've been given any selection headaches? Uh, that's a good question to be fair like I only take one game at a time to be fair, me and, me and Hazel will get his heads together and we'll, we'll sit down and, and have a chat. But, you know, a 4 0 victory, one of the things what I said to the boys in the dressing room before the game is that was the hardest decision, picking the 16 out of the 22. Um, we picked the 16 we thought could be a job today. Not necessarily it's going to be the same 16 on Tuesday. So, we'll, me and Hazel will have a chat and we'll see if where we can strengthen it, if anywhere. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, a 4 0 victory, we're going to struggle to, to change it, but we'll see. We'll see how the lads respond over the weekend. Some might have picked a little niddles up or, or whatever, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll assess that when we know. It must be nice to see your lads throw themselves into challenges, getting and blocking the ball. That's something in the past that a lot of fans have wanted to see from players that they've perhaps not seen. Is that something you've installed from the start? Yeah, I mean, if I'm honest, I've got to give a mention to, to Yacy. I, I picked him out of the dressing room. He's put two fantastic blocks in there, uh, you know, and, and it spreads. It, it spreads through the team because five minutes later, Charlie Dawes has chucked a, a great, a great block in there. So it's it, it's something which like a, a good pass, a good movement. It, it's a trigger which which myself and and Sean required for just a little bit of a touch paper for the boys to, you know, to get out that mentality. It's ten minutes of the first league game, you know, actually believing themselves. And, and after the ten minutes, we went one 0 up. You know, we, we never looked uh, looked in danger, so we, we're really pleased with the boys, and and that's a mentality which shows that when they put the Matlock shirt on, you know, it's it's not 
it's not any any other club. It's Matlock Town. So yeah, they've got to be got to be proud to wear the badge, which I think they are. Right. Thank you very much, Dave Paul. Okay. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. Uh, welcome back to MTF CTV. Joining me this time is Jamie Jackson. Jamie, we've just completed a 4-0 win. How do you feel? Good, yeah. Really good team performance, I thought. Uh, clean sheet's always a bonus and all the strikers got on the score sheet. It's brilliant. Couldn't have gone any better. I think you've ended up with three assists today and a goal, it, which is, for, for my money, a man of the match performance. How do you see your own performance today? It is a good performance, I thought. Um, you, you can just try and do your best um, for the team. And the lads finished the, the chances off at the end of the day, so fair play to them. And um, it's got us on winning start. You've shown a, an electric turn of pace. I think you're going to give the, uh, both those centre-back nightmares for the next few days. Do you... Uh, a lot wondered when you first come back in, would you still have that pace that you had when you were first here? I think you've proven that wrong. Do you feel proven that right, that you still do have the pace? Uh, I don't think I'm quite as quick as I used to be, but still got a little bit about me, I think, yeah. Uh, I know one of their lads as well, Willow, so he'll not thank me for that, but um, what can you do? Is... So, I mean, you've put a marker down for yourself for the season now. Do you feel you can keep that level of energy, that level of performance up? I hope so. I mean, it's up to the gaffer to... I mean, we've got... The, the team is, is brilliant. Like, the squad's brilliant at the minute. Uh, there's lads left out today that I feel have been very, very unlucky, to be honest. Um, and the, the gaffer said before, we, we don't know our best side yet. We've got such strength and depth at the minute and they'll no doubt be needed. Um, but it was a good performance today and a really good start. I'm sure, you, well, you might have heard, you might not have a few of our fans sing it top at league, which I think we are at the moment. Surely at this point of the season, that doesn't enter the players' mind. <laughs> We're just saying in the shower then, I think we should hand the trophy over, but I think it's more of a joke than anything. Well, I think, I think Gaffer said, <laughs> wrapped up in Feb, is open, so <laughs> yeah. we'll see what happens. Right, thank you very much, Jamie no Jackson. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers mate. No. Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time is Sean Harrod, who got a brace today in the 4 0 win over Lancaster City. Sean, how do you feel your own performance was? Yeah, it was um, obviously nice to be out there and be part of the goals again. Um, but most importantly, the win, the central first day of the season. Yeah, it was a good turnout as well, it was uh, much appreciated. I think amongst some of the fans, there were still murmurs about whether you were fit or not, or whether you were fully fit and back. Do you think you've answered those critics today? Yeah, obviously, um, I'm not in pain, that's the main thing. Um, the more games that come, the sharper I get. I've had a good pre-season and I've had no hiccups so far, so it's all positive, yeah. Do you feel, I asked Dave the same question, do you feel there's going to be some selection headaches ahead of Tuesday now? Yeah, obviously, it's a great position to be in as management. Um, and that's something that we've, we've worked on throughout the summer and what, what we've brought in with the, the competition and the standard of play. So, yeah, it's a great position to be in. I believe Jamie Jackson assisted both your goals, obviously, going down for penalty, got cleared out by quite a few like I City defenders, I think, at the time. Yeah. And then that pass across box, which I think you nutmeg keeper. Yeah. Do you think, how is playing with him, do you feel there's a real good massive. partnership there? Absolutely massive. Um, we've been talking to him throughout the summer what we want from him and what we know we can get from him and uh, he's delivered today and always on the move, a menace to the defenders and um, yeah, I thought we con combinations between us work really well. I know over pre-season there are a lot of fans wondering about performances, we perhaps weren't seeing the sort of football that you and Dave were hoping for but I think it's shown today that pre season's just about fitness, where when it's mattered, after an early 10-15 minutes, the lads really dug in and have put in the sort of performance we saw towards the end of last season. Is that how you feel? Definitely. You know, it's always going to be a bit nervy to start with. Dry pitch, hot day. You know, they're going to try and um, combat us in that respect. But we come good. We uh, worked hard on and off the, the ball, what we asked for. And the quality shown it um, towards the end. I'm not sure if you heard a few of the fans at the end singing top of the league, which I believe we are, obviously, only first game in. Is that something that even enters yours or Dave's mind at this point? No, nothing at all. It's obviously a great start, great result, and we, we cross down to the next one. It's going to be a tough one at Scarborough on a different surface, and uh, we look can prepare for that one correctly. I think we haven't now got another home game until mid-September. The Bamber Bridge, who was scheduled to play here next Saturday, is off due to their FA Cup commitments. Is that something as a player and now a player assistant manager 
that you enjoy having a black Saturday or would you rather be playing? No, we want the games to come you know, weekly. We want the momentum. It is what it is. Uh, we'll deal with it and we'll, we'll work on the training ground ready for the next opposition. Kieran Watson didn't start today. He came off the bench and bagged himself a goal. I know there are a few managers in the league he was in last season wondering if he could do it at this level. Well, I think he's put those doubters to rest now. Brilliant. Do you feel he's after your shirt? Of course he is. Of course he is. But what we've said as management is the lads that don't get selected make an impact and what else could he do? You know, it's a great finish. Exact response what we're asking for to make an impact and um, just, just about, uh, finish the game off with a, with a fantastic finish. The fans today, I've noticed, were a lot more vocal than they have been in previous seasons, getting behind the lads. How vital is that? That's massive, absolutely massive. You know, we've got a unified team and that goes as far as the fans. You know, their response throughout the game today goes a long way. And they turned out in the numbers, to be fair, and it, it goes a long way to help the lads with their confidence and just put them on that front foot. Do you feel there's still more to come from this side that we haven't seen, or do you feel this was the, this side at full tilt today? We've, we've still got things to work on. We, we'll be looking at things to improve. Second balls, um, on and off the ball. So, yeah, there's plenty of work to do. It's the first game of the season. To finish things off, I believe last season you finished fourth or fifth in the Golden Boot race in the league. This season you've already registered two goals. Is that something you keep an eye on as an individual prize for yourself that you want to win? Or is it something that if it happens, it's nice? To be honest, I haven't even had time to think about that one. Um, yeah, obviously striker wants to score in every game. And to start with two is a nice Brucey bonus for the uh, season ahead, you know, and uh, we're chipping in from all over the place and you know you see it you see at the back with Dueno putting the, the bodies on the line, that's just as important. Right, thank you very much Sean Howard.